Welcome to 3.2's Math Moment. Today's students learned how to multiply fractions that are not unit fractions. So they're going to have something different than just a 1 on the top. So the first example says, Dustin took 20 free throws during basketball practice. He made four-fifths of the shot. So he made four-fifths of the shots that he made. And he took 20 of those shots. How many baskets did he actually make? So I need to find four-fifths of, which in math means multiply, four-fifths of 20. So four-fifths of 20. Now I want my 20 holes to look like a fraction. So anytime that I want a whole number to look like a fraction, I just place it over one and it does not change the value. So now I just get to multiply. I can take four times 20, which using my zeros trick, I do four times two, eight, and then add the zero. So four times 20 is 80, and five times one is five. This is an improper fraction, the top is too big, so I'm going to have to divide. 80 divided by five. Five goes into eight one time. When I subtract, I'm left with three. I bring down my zero. Five goes into 30 six times. It gives me exactly what I need. So my final answer is 16. So to make sure that I'm writing the correct label, how many baskets did Dustin make? 16 baskets. Example two says, a basket has 48 berries. Three eighths of them are strawberries. How many berries are not strawberries? So this word not is very important because I have the math to figure out how many strawberries there are, but that's not really what the answer or the question is asking me to do. So this is going to be a two-step problem. So first we need to figure out how many berries exactly is 3 eighths of 48. That will give me a whole number for how many strawberries we have. So I'm going to take 3 eighths of 48, and again, I want to make my whole number look like a fraction, so I place it over 1. Of in math means to multiply, so I'm just going to time straight across. 48 times 3, I might not know in my head, so I'm going to pull it off to the side. 8 times 3 is 24, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, so I have 144. And then 8 times 1 is 8. Now, this is an improper fraction, so I'm going to take 144 divided by 8. 8 goes into 14 one time. When I subtract, I'm left with 6. I bring down my 4. 8 goes into 64 8 times. 8 times 8 is 64 exactly. And my answer is 18. Now, lots of times students will stop here and record their answer as 18 strawberries. But remember, that is not the question they're asking. They're asking how many berries are not strawberries. So if I have 18 that are strawberries, I need to compare 18 and 48 to see how much is left over. So I have 48 total berries. 18 of them are strawberries. So if I subtract those two amounts, I'll figure out how much are not strawberries. 8 minus 8 is 0. 4 minus 1 is 3. So there are 30 berries that are not strawberries. If you have any other questions about um, Lesson 3.2, make sure to see your math teacher.